Hi, and welcome to The Light of Deception. Today I'm going to be talking about youth conferences and conferences that are geared towards high school students and young adults. These conferences are driven off um, pride and ego, calling people to a call or to ascend, maybe to a gathering or together 2019 or so many conferences at the Wild Goose Conference. I mean, I can't even say enough about that. So <clears throat> what I'm going to be talking about is this new ego-driven, let's go around the world in cans with the inter interfaith dialogue, let's heal our world, let's do, um, send the gospel, which is great. Okay, if you're really going out there and you're talking in, in about a true gospel, let's um, standing on the Word of God and teaching, the, uh, instead of teaching a false narrative, or it's driven by the ego and God's call in this generation. You guys are the ones that are going to be sent, go around the world and and um, preach the gospel and usher in some kind of kingdom here on this earth. There, The Bible is very clear that we inherit the kingdom and Jesus builds it. So for a man to even think for a second that they're supposed to go out and build some kind of eco-driven um, green call or some kind of agenda, that lines up with the globalist, um, the 2030 agenda. Man, who is feeding into these star-like pastors that are called the anointed, or if they're called uh, great men of God, or they're elders in this, this movements, like Kenneth Copeland or Benny Hinn um, for the call and the send, or the, like the big elders there that are ushering in this youth um, revival and calling people to ascend and um, really it feeds the ego. There's some lots of truth in with mixed in with the great big lie. So you have to, well the devil knows more, of, you know, knows the Bible, right? And the demons more than you know yourself. So you better be armed. You gotta be standing on the Word of God, reading it chapter by chapter, verse by verse, praying that the Holy Spirit lead you and not the unholy spirits. Test the spirits. Also keep an eye on the youth, or if you are a youth and you're listening to this, really take everything that you're hearing from these big giant, what are they, millionaires and billionaire pastors that are out there and teaching some kind of false gospel. And um, you'll see people dropping off from these uh, calls and sends and, um, all the, and turning big wigs that are turning away from even Christianity. Uh, coming out of these places, it could be Bethel, um, Lots of stuff going on there with um, the prophetic words and your body's moving around, jerking back and forth like, like while you're getting extra revelation, something that's extra biblical. And I've never read anything in the Bible that ever says that you jerk around and uh, people falling on the ground and people tell, sending out healings. And now you know the enemy and, and this world can mimic a, um, a healing. You know, if you take it back in the Bible and you're reading about it, and um, there's uh, the enemy will have some false, false signs and wonders as well. So if you're in this whole um, man-driven, watch what I can do, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to the people that you think about in the Bible that were actual apostles and prophets, they put their life on the line every day to tell the truth. Some of them were brutally murdered. Most of them actually were brutally murdered for their for them coming with the prophetic word, but these other these other guys are getting richer and richer and sending people out and this false narrative and they're ushering in another kingdom. So I would say, really take everything that you're hearing, all these conferences back to the word of God and make sure you stay out of the light of deception. Thank you.